guys this is epson workforce wf7840 i received a question someone asked how to scan document from this printer to your mobile device to scan your document you need to make sure that the printer and your mobile phone are connected to the same network and you download epson smart panel so this printer and the mobile phone are connected together and is downloaded via epson smart panel so this printer this is the printer image here and once you see the printer image it will also show you the ink level to scan your document you need to scroll to the side you will see the first option is print photo if you scroll again it will show you print document if you scroll again it will show you doc document capture you scroll again to scan now to scan your document you need to open up the printer scanner and take the document you want to scan go on top of the printer and you will see a white arrow on the left side so you need to start put your document to the white arrow on the left side so you need to make sure your, your document is on the left side here with this white arrow okay line white arrow start document here and if you look here it will show you a4 so you can scan a5 letter b5 lega b4 a3 and maximum 11 by 17 inch so what we have here is a4 paper now the next thing we need to do is you need to close the scanner now then go to your mobile phone select settings more settings when you select more settings then you need to select document as a glass scanner if you are scanning from adf then you need to select on it to change it to adf okay so it's currently glass scanner then document type is a4 paper so you can scroll down and select any other document type you have what you have here is a4 then you go back image type is color you can select black or gray so it's currently in colored then resolution maximum is 600 dpi is currently in 300 dpi automatic rotation not necessary image format you select image format what we have here what we selected is pdf if we select jpg is is for photo so we have pdf then you select start now this document is scanning Here is the document if you are not happy with it then you select the delete but this document is okay now the next thing to do if you want to scan the second one open up the scanner and turn it upside down or put the second document you want to scan face down close it then select add scan and it's now scanning the second page And these are the document two pages this is the first and second one okay so you can do this as many times as you like once you're done you select next okay then you select this document file name you can type your name on this file okay then select save then you select locations scroll down to select where you want to use this folder select allow okay so the document is in the picture then select save the file is saved okay go back to home page not yet select no now to print this document out is select share button. then you scroll to the side to and select epson smart panel for you to print it out now this document is attached to the epson smart panel you can see the first and second page now to print it out you select print then it give you option make sure the printer is here and also if you are printing this double-sided and from the casket you select second casket first casket the first casket or second one so this doc the paper we have here is a first casket okay then you go back and also print range if you want to print all 
you select print all if you want to select print start from page one then you select start from page one okay and end in page two then the next is paper size a4 paper media type plain paper layout borders and color we are printing this colored and also print on both sides long edge you can also select how many copies once you've done that then you select start now this document is printing Okay, so this is the document you printed out. Okay, double sided. Now, this document, okay, if you want to share this document to somebody, the next thing you need to do is wherever you save the document and share this document, go to my file. Okay, this is the document here. This is it first and second one to share this document gently tap on it select share select continue then you scroll to the side and look for options so we're sending this via outlook then you attach it to email this document is attached to the email then the next thing you need to do is you need to type the email address of the person you want to send this to. And select send. So now this document is sent to my inbox. Okay, so this is how to scan your document, print it out, likewise share this document to some, somebody. I received a question, someone asked how to print document or photo from mobile phone to this printer to print your document you need to make sure that the mobile phone and printer are connected to the same network so this phone and this printer both are connected to the same wi-fi network now to print your document you need to go to your file wherever you save your document so go to file my files now when you select my files it gives you option for you to select image documents or download so select documents now you select particular document you want to print out and this is the document you want to print out two pages now to print this document out you just gently tap on it it give you option for you to edit it print upload to cloud share and more so select print and you will see this app you need to scroll down to select Epson workforce series select on it and you wait for the printer to be ready and once you see this yellow printer icon then you know that this printer is ready okay and this is the document you want to print out so to print it out first of all you need to scroll down to select how many copies color to print double sided and paper size is a4 so if you want to print this more than one you select on it and type 2 for instance so type 2 then color to print it colored you select colored okay to print it double sided you need to scroll down to select double sided long edge and short edge long edge okay now paper size is a4 orientation is portrait and then you select print select okay now this document is printing so we are printing this double sided This is the first one.
okay so the job is done another way to print your document from your mobile phone to this printer is for you to go to epson smart panel and this epson smart panel to print your document you need to make sure that the printer is available and you can see the ink level this printer is ready then you need to scroll to the side so you can print photo you can also print documents what we want to print now is documents so you need to scroll to the side okay and select documents now the next thing is for you to select the document you want to print out okay this is the document pdf document you want to print out you need to select on it then you wait for the document to be attached and this is two pages document now the next thing is for you to select print when you select print you need to make sure that the printer is available wf7840 is ready then you select image paper size a4 media type is plain paper layout is borders quality is standard you can enhance it to high standard okay and also casket is one paper size color is colored printing on both sides long edge you select how many copies okay then you select start now this document is printing Preparing to print the reverse side of the document. Do not touch the paper. Select OK. There we go. So this is a document we printed out. These are ways for you to print document from Epson Workforce from your mobile phone to Epson Work. I want to show you how to copy your document. First of all, you need to stick the document you want to copy, okay, on the glass scanner. You need to make sure the document starts from the left side. So to copy your document, you need to stick the document you want to copy. Make sure it starts from the left side here, okay. You stick the document this end, and there's a there's a white arrow on top. You need to stick the document. So what we have here is A4 paper now the next thing you need to do is so go to the home screen and select copy when you select copy okay it gives you option for you to select black and white or color okay so if you want to print this document color you select colored and select how many copies so if you select copies if you want to print it two then you select two so you can print up to 99 copies select okay then the next is if you want to copy this two-sided select on it select two-sided once you've done that then you go select copy and this document now is copying now it's the next thing you need to do is place the next original on the scanner glass and start scanning touch finish scanning to print scan original so open up the scanner and turn the document the other way around okay for you to scan the second one close it and select start scanning so it's scanning the second page and complete this is the document copied double-sided colored this is the second one you copy this document double-sided colored now if you want to copy this document black and single page 
so stick the document you want to copy on the glass scanner face down then you go back okay and select basic settings so you select black now you can also reduce enhancement paper setting author or showing us a4 original text now instead of copying this double side i want us to copy this one side select on double side select one on one then select ok the actual size in case if you want to reduce this document actual size is 100 percent if you want to reduce it you can select 50 percent or 70 percent you just need to scroll down and select if you want to reduce it okay but i want to, us to copy this the actual size is showing us 100 percent then you go back select ok now in terms of the density if you want to increase or reduce the density you can also select the density for you to reduce it darker or lighter okay but is currently in plus or minus zero at the center you select okay you also have an advanced select advanced for you to copy multiple page original size okay finishing mix size and every other thing then you go back then select how many copies we want to copy this only one select okay then select copy so now this document we're going to copy it only one copy and complete here we go so this is the document we copied black and white and we copy this this one colored double-sided if you're happy with this tutorial please do me a favor like share and subscribe it help the channel 